Welcome to Part 1, Section 1A, The Customizable Features of the History of Present Illness. In this section, we will review the differences between free text versus structured data, show you how to create structured data fields, and finally how to run a query on structured data. Okay, now let's begin. As a default, information entered in the HPI is entered as free text. We do not recommend entering progress note information in the default free form section. Except for the medical history, free text is not searchable in a registry query. In order to maximize the use of ECW for quality improvement and meaningful use, enter information as structured data instead. Any information that you would like to track or recall on a population level as part of a registry must be entered as structured data. Structured data can be entered in many areas, such as the patient information, HPI, exam, and preventative medicine. In this section, we will review structured data in the HPI. We begin by opening the patient progress note. Click HPI. In the left panel, select the desired category. Then click Custom. The Properties List pop-up window will open. In this window, you can select which property listed under the HPI category should have structured data entry. In order to customize the Properties List, Click Custom within the HPI window. Click New and a Properties window will appear. Type the property name here. In our example, we will type Hypertension. Then click OK. We can see our property name added to the Properties list. Mark the box for Structured Flag and click Save Structured Flag. This will ensure the selected property data is saved as structured data and searchable in a query at a later time. Properties not selected with an X will be freeform text only and cannot be entered in a registry query. Now click OK. Click within the notes box next to the listing of our previous selection and the HPI notes window appears. Click custom to enter the properties of the notation. In the Properties window, click Add. Type the name. We will enter Managed. For type, select Structured Text and check Multi-Select, which allows us to select more than one answer to complete the property notation. Click OK. Select the added property, then click Customize Structured Text. Click Add within the Structured Text window to type our options. In our example, we will type with an ACE bar. Then without an ACE bar. Because patient does not tolerate medication. Then, without an ACE R, because the medication is contraindicated, and finally, not applicable. Click OK to complete the property options. Then click Close. Back in the HPI Notes window, let's confirm that our options were added correctly. Click the Values box and our options will appear. Now check the box next to the appropriate choice and the structured data is added to the HPI in the Patient's Progress Note. Now try it. Let's try one more example. Click the Diabetes tab in the HPI window. Click the Notes box next to the preset symptom. We will type 
hemoglobin A1c for name. Then for type, we will select numeric. Since we want this to be a mandatory part of the note, we'll check the box next to mandatory. Going back to the HPI window, we can click in the notes field and open the HPI notes window. Click in the values field and our number pad will appear. Enter the information here and click close. Now try it. Finally, let's see if we can run a query. Select registry from the left navigation panel. Click the registry icon. Select structured data tab. Click the more button to search for our property. We can start typing it in the find box or search for it by section, then category. Highlight the property name, then click OK to close the window and populate the field name box. Next, enter values for the field and click Run New. We will see our patient appear below. Now try it. This concludes Part 1, Section 1A, Customizable Features of the HPI.